the report looks at the, the nature of the relationship between the ACP and the European Union. And I think that's a, a long established relationship which, for which we've invested a lot in. Um, and we need to sustain it. However, the relationship needs to be reinvented because I think the context has changed and the priorities have changed for both parties. Um, as the membership in the European Union has enlarged, the new members don't have the same affiliation as the, the original members of the European Union in terms of the relationship with the ACP. And so I think we have to think about ways in which we can generate new forms of um, connectivity and collaboration between the two entities. And I think much of the onus for this process has to come from the, the ACPs and the ACP Secretariat. Um, in effect, they have to put the white paper on the table to, in effect, not so much define the new relationship as much as to identify where their new strategic imperatives are. And I think that's a, a good starting point. Yeah, the, in terms of the issue of metrics and indicators, um, I think that we may be unusually um, critical of the existing ACP EU relationship because we don't have good data that in a sense, measures the successes or the failures. Huh? So I think that that needs to be incorporated more into the report. So we have some clear sense of where the balance resides in terms of some effective uh, areas of, of cooperation. Hmm? And, uh, and then in terms of the issue of diasporas, um, you know, the migration issue is becoming more and more um, at the top of the hit list for countries. But there's an opportunity beyond looking at just migrants and the human rights of migrants. Uh, diaspora communities, both from Africa, the Caribbean and Pacific, and Europe, play a critical role in the development of their own countries. And so what we want to do is facilitate that process and strengthen their capacity to facilitate trade and entrepreneurship and ultimately development, economic development. And so it's to flip the discourse a bit away from talking about refugees and migrants to actually talk about ways in which there's a, a opportunities for co-creation between diaspora communities that are already in Europe yeah. and in many respects doing well and how they can help with their communities back home. Okay. And that's a different discourse from what we normally hear when people talk about migration. Mm -hmm.